Hello everyone, this is James Poteet with photos and impressions of the Major Ridge House and Museum in Rome, Georgia, which I visited on October 30th. The morning of our visit, it dawned on me that the place name Kennesaw might come from an indigenous word, and indeed it means burial ground in Cherokee. With that on my mind, I headed northwest. One of the first things that caught my attention was this map. It was fascinating to see what the boundaries of Georgia counties looked like in the early 1800s. On another wall, I spotted the Ridge family tree, which you can see now. You'll find John Roland Ridge at the bottom. This is Major Ridge's grandson, a noted author. While on site in Rome, I became interested enough in the writings of J.R. Ridge to purchase a volume of selected poems. I'd like to share a stanza from one of those poems now. October Hills What now to me the jars of life, its petty cares, its harder throes, the hills are free from toil and strife, and clasp me in their deep repose. I have enjoyed reading the poems in this collection, and I imagine they'll stay with me for a long time. I learned that approximately half of Major Ridge's income, while living on the plantation, came from operating a ferry across the river which flows behind the house. You can see a replica of the ferry in this photo. After walking by the river, we returned to the house. That's when I took this beautiful shot. On the second floor, I found an old organ. Being a musician, I naturally was drawn to it. Unfortunately, the organization that cares for the property and the collection have no record of its origins. That being said, I can assure you that this instrument was not owned by Major Ridge himself, as it would have been produced after removal. As I looked out one of the front windows, I wondered how long these large trees had been there, and whether any of them might have been on the property when Major Ridge and his family lived in the house. I brought home quite a bit of literature, including two handouts about Ridge himself, a brochure about notable indigenous sites in Georgia, a large and beautifully designed pamphlet about the Trail of Tears, and a few other odds and ends. My husband earned his undergraduate degree from nearby Berry College, and it had been a while since he visited the campus. We stopped by since we were in the area and visited, among other things, the bookstore. Inside, I saw these maps. I thought about the fact that the world's largest college campus is located entirely on land stolen from the Cherokees.